well, we know back to school time is a very important time to be on the lookout for head lice. And we've asked Lisa Rudquist with Ladybugs, Inc. to join us now to talk a little bit about it. Thanks so much for coming in. We sure appreciate it. Yes. This is a, this is a big concern for parents, especially this time of year when it's back to school time. It should be a concern of theirs. Head lice is very common. About 6 to 12 million Americans will acquire head lice every year. So it should be a concern for parents to look out for. What exactly is it for all of us that just know it's kind of a creepy thing but don't really understand the science? You know, head lice is simply a small parasite, human parasite, um, that lives on the scalp area of the head. And it's actually been around for thousands of years. And, and it's just a, it's sometimes parents consider it a rite of passage for their children to go through an episode of head lice. And it can be pretty common. It's very, very common. It's very easily spread between children, especially when kids are getting back to school now. Talk about how someone can tell, how a parent can tell if their child should have head lice. Sure. Some parents actually will do proactive head lice checks in their ch children's hair. Maybe a note comes home from school and they're looking to find nits or the eggs that the lice leave behind or the lice themselves. Otherwise, some children actually do report some itching that are associated with the head lice that moving around in the hair. So if you see your child itching and you weren't proactive, maybe that's the time to step in and start asking some questions. Absolutely. Definitely time to do head checks. And Ladybugs, our company actually does free head lice checks and education to all Minnesota schools. So, um, again, if, if parents are having a hard time seeing it, they certainly can call us to do a head, head lice check. You mentioned children can pass it from one to another. I'm curious as to how that happens. You know, it's very easy. 30 seconds of head-to-head -head contact. That's all that's needed for head lice to be passed from one person to the next. And now that kids are going back to school, they're sharing fiat equipment, they're sharing helmets, they're mm -hmm. sharing uh, sporting equipment. It might be even that they're... Um, they're sharing brushes and ponytail holders. So those things should not be shared when it comes to head lice. If you find out your child has it and you looked and you, you see some of the symptoms, uh, what can be done? What should parents do right away? You know, I think that's best to probably to call and have that verified by an expert. So Ladybugs does provide that service and we actually have a service that we actually do de-lice children and parents. You know, Eric, um, head lice is so common that we oftentimes get mothers and, and fathers even that acquire it when their children bring it home from school. So again, head lice is a family problem. And it's always best to look at your options and Ladybugs does provide an all natural solution to getting rid of the head lice. Sure, a big issue. We're glad you came in to talk yeah. about it. Thanks again for Thanks your time. Thanks so much. Sure, appreciate it. All right, back to school also means